Welcome to the Dashboard System at the University of Kansas. Here, we try to connect effective writing strategies with technology solutions to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of writing for all learners, especially those with disabilities. Whether it's a sport, a musical instrument, or your favorite hobby, one of the best ways to get better at something is practice, right? In this video, I'll show you how you will use four minutes of writing practice to grow and improve as a writer. Not only will you be more confident when you write, but it will also be easier to begin writing when you start an assignment for any of your other classes. Step one is logging on to the progress monitoring site. To do this, you'll go to startpaw.com. Notice there is no www on there to find this site. Once you're on this site, you will type in the assessment name and password your teacher gives you. You will use the same login for every progress monitoring session. If you're not sure what to type in each box, you can click on the speaker and it will read the instructions to you. So I'm going to type in my assessment name and then click in the password my teacher has given me. Then I can click next. Now I will start typing my name. After a couple of letters, your name should pop up and you can click on that name. Then you'll click sign in. The next screen gives you instructions about the test. Make sure to follow your teacher's instructions carefully. Once you click start, you cannot stop it. You must take the test. The next screen will give you one minute to think about the prompt. So when we click start, it's going to begin. This screen will give you one minute to think about the prompt. You can click on the speaker to listen to the directions, but it will not read the prompt for you. This is a time for you to think about and plan out what you want to write, so that on the next screen your ideas will fly onto the page. So in this example, the prompt is describe a fun activity for kids your age to do after school and explain using specific examples why it is so fun. So while I'm sitting here thinking about the prompt and unable to type, I am either brainstorming in my head what I want to write about, or in some instances your teacher may let you have a piece of paper where you will write down a few of your ideas before you begin to write. The important thing is that you are focused on what you want to write and planning it all out. The more you do of these, the more comfortable you will be in the planning phase. You are now ready to type your response. You should type quickly as soon as time starts. Do your absolute best work in the time allotted. You will have three minutes to write as much as possible. When time runs out, the box will turn gray and you won't be able to type anymore. That's okay. That means you were typing until the last second. That's a good thing. When you are finished, you can take a deep breath and close out of the browser. Your teacher will be able to see everything you typed. At this point, your teacher can now see your writing and use it to work with you on goal setting. This is just one piece of data to track how well you are writing. Sometimes you will write a lot of words correctly and sometimes you won't. Don't get discouraged. The goal is that over time, your word count, word sequences, and spelling will all improve. Work hard. Figure out how you plan and write best and you will show amazing growth. You rock! <laughs>